Hi, this week I'm going to show you the third step in rewriting limiting patterns into empowering practices. That step is interruption. Now I'm going to turn back in my journal to the page where I showed you the trigger reaction loop because this is a great place to start with the third step. And if you haven't done the first two steps yet, it's really, really valuable to do those to set yourself up for success with the interruption practices. What I like to do after I've identified how I am experiencing the trigger reaction loop is to take a different color pen and to identify some specific ways I will experiment with interrupting the pattern. Because what we know is that neurons that fire together wire together. It's a common saying. And so we have that stimuli or that trigger that we end up experiencing certain feelings and sensations and thoughts. And then we go into this behavior that is not serving us anymore. And so we want to interrupt that. And I like to draw kind of a little arrow here to identify my experiments. So some of the experiments I have done in the past include breathing, just taking deep breaths, going for a walk, asking myself what if questions, and then anchoring with an empowering belief. Writing my experiments down on this page in my journal is really helpful for seeing a visual of where that practice will take place while I am in the process of rewriting the limiting pattern. Now it also can be very helpful to turn to a blank page in my journal or your journal to write some additional reflection questions. So we've already identified what you're experimenting with and the reason it's really important to identify these interruption practices as experiments is that it gives you permission and space to get it wrong, to make mistakes, to fail, and to course correct. As opposed to when we issue things as decrees, oh, I'm going to now always breathe and not to you know, be able to fail if we experience something that doesn't go right with that. So when we experiment, it's like, oh, well, you know, just deep breaths themselves didn't work, but when I practice uh, square breathing, it does. Or when I practice heart-focused breathing, it helps better. Uh, so different uh, things like that might come up from our, our practices. And so that's where these reflection questions are really valuable. Uh, the first is to ask yourself, what thoughts or sensations Do you commonly experience oops, when triggered that can remind you to practice a pattern interrupt. Now, this is an intention setting question as well as an awareness building one. You are telling that reticular activating system in your brain, notice this. Notice when I start going into negative self-talk. Notice when I start asking why me questions, wondering why I'm never good enough. I uh, notice when my heart rate starts to be elevated or I have a sinking feeling in my gut. Reflecting on that is setting an intention for yourself to notice that in the moment so you may practice those pattern interrupts. You're using the trigger and what the trigger creates as a reminder to interrupt the pattern. And so that's really important. Even if you've already identified these, it's helpful to continue writing and set that intention because then you can also say, and the next time I will experiment with this. And then as you engage in these experiments too, you will want to reflect on the changes or shifts you experience as a result of practicing these experiments.
I've had a client that upon practicing these pattern interrupt experience experiments, noticed that she had less negative chatter in her mind and that she felt actually happier. Uh, and so that was just a really cool side benefit of experimenting with interrupting her pattern. She hadn't finished the pattern rewriting process yet, and she was already seeing benefits from just experimenting with the interrupts. And that supported her in rewriting the pattern successfully. So that's it for this week. Step three of interrupting your patterns. You can turn to the trigger reaction loop. You can reflect on it, write in your journal, set intentions and simply notice, just notice as though you are an observer of your life, what changes. As always, it can really help to connect with others uh, in this journey. If you're ready to experience personal or professional transformation right now, the journal jams are a very supportive place for doing that. And our last journal jam, actually a journal jam last year, where we talked about pattern, rewriting and interruptions, there was such a valuable discussion around different pattern interrupts that people practice. And that really inspired other people to do different things to experiment with and in interrupting their own patterns. So generous sharing in journal jams is one of the most valuable pieces. You'll gain insight and inspiration from other people's experiences and practices. So I invite you to check out the next one. Details about that and information to register are below. And it also is, you know, just really valuable to share your own experiences with others. Uh, if you have a friend that is stuck in an unhealthy and negative loop, share this video. Friends share actionable inspiration with other friends. Thank you so much for including me in your journey. I really appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you and please take care and be well.